Hi, Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. This is my third bottle of Tipperary. This time Tipperary Knock Meal Downs 10 year old single malt Irish whiskey. 1,900 bottles was of the second edition. Sorry, I don't have the first edition. I'm sure there, I think, I'm pretty positive there was 1916 bottles. 1916 because of the um, connection to the Easter um, Revolution. And I have bottle 1239. So this is triple distilled, at least that's what the... Um, the the guys, Stuart Nickerson and Garrett Erhern, said at a whiskey festival here in Germany a couple of months ago. And uh, Stuart Nickerson, as I said in my first two videos, is a whiskey expert. His daughter, Jennifer, I'm rushing through this, I'm sorry, uh, met an Irish guy in Scotland, Liam Aaron. The, both of their fathers um, decided to start up a whiskey distillery in Ireland, Stuart Nickerson and Garrett Erhern. Garrett Ahern has a farm in Ireland. It's been in his um, family for the five generations now, which means over 200 years. And they decided to start growing um, barley. And they have a wonderful source of fresh water there on the farm so they can actually bottle and distill their own whiskey. So this is the Mountain Range series, the first bottle from this, 47%. And it's named after the Knock Meal Downs, which is a mountain range in Ireland. The highest mountain there is 795 meters. I will not do the math. Times three is 2,300 feet high. And um, the first rain, the first edition was sold out, and I have the second edition. So this is the first bottle from this mountain range, and it was. Um, Aged and distilled in Ireland for 10 years in ex-bourbon casks. It doesn't say first bourbon casks this time. They did use the water from the Baldoni farm to dilute this down to 47%. And in Germany, it cost about 40, no, I'm sorry, 59 euros, which is about, in England, I thought it was, I saw it around 60 pounds, which would be in America... Even more. <laughs> so let's fill up my glass and I'll nose it and then tell you a little bit about the aromas. So the very, very first thing I get on my nose is grain. And then I get some tropical fruit, pineapple, coconut, more tropical fruits. A little bit of oak is in there with some vanilla. It's a good nosing whiskey. The watershed from Tipperary I did not like on my nose. In my mouth it exploded into this bomb of tropical fruits. This on the nose, on the other hand, is much better. Smooth, grain, tropical fruit, vanilla, nice. 47% absolutely the way it should be, almost undetectable. A little sweet, a little fruity, a little grainy. What else do you want from my Irish whiskey? Now, let's taste it. Mmm, at the end. Ooh, nice. Nice. Comes in your mouth. Sweet, grainy, fruity. Alcohol is just a tiny bit there. But then, just like with the um, watershed from Tipperary, it explodes in this absolutely fantastic fruit bomb of tropical fruits. We have the Pineapple, we have a little bit of coconut, we have papaya. You could even say a little bit of ginger is in there. It's not a fruit, but still it's, ah. Uh, and it lasts for a good minute or two. 
nice stuff. Really nice stuff. And the alcohol the whole time is very smooth and very delicate. I like it. Good, good stuff, actually. The nose is good. The palate is good. So the tasting notes in the bottle say, the nose opens with fresh oak. I notice the oak. Developing in hot caramel sauce with notes of chocolate and vanilla. I still don't know where they get their chocolate from. I've had whiskeys with dark chocolate. I've had whiskeys with white chocolate. But this doesn't really have the chocolate that I'm used to. But it does have a little bit of a caramel sweet. I'm going to go still with my tropical fruits. Um, mm, Much better than what they said. The palate is smooth and light. Sweet honey cuts through with citrus notes. Then becomes savory and peppery. Peppery is what they're talking about, the alcohol. Okay, a little bit is there. Savory just means yummy, yummy. And the citrus is what I'm talking about, the tropical fruits. I would not say honey, but it was sweet. It was nice. The finish lingers, oaks with drying tannins, and just a touch of ginger spice. Ah, look, the ginger. Now, I didn't really get the drying tannins. Um, the tannins I got with Tipperary, Tipperary the Rising, 11 years old, the day before yesterday. That was tannins. Um, this I didn't really get. And they're not even really there. So I can really recommend this. I gave it a B+. Plus. Good stuff. And um, as I said, it's um, 59, basically 59 euros here in Germany. And I would give it a 3 plus for the value for money perfect would be 49 euros then i would absolutely say recommendation i think it's a little bit overpriced especially for the fact that they sourced it especially for the fact that this is the second batch which means the first batch is sold out so they're doing something right they sold 1916 bottles at 60 euros so that means about 10,000 euros they made with the first batch if i did my math right Maybe you notice how I, I chew my whiskey. It actually allows the whiskey to come and touch all the areas, my gum, my tongue, up above, in the back. One of the best ways to really get everything out of a whiskey. And this stuff is really good. They mentioned um, that at least Stuart Nickerson and Garrett Erhorn mentioned that uh, this whiskey is available in Ireland and Germany. And they're planning on sending it also to America. So if you can get your hands on this stuff, on this whiskey, I would highly recommend it. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but it's a very, very, very good Irish whiskey for its 10 years. All right, Whiskey Jason here. I've done over 300 videos in German, and now I'm doing some more and more videos in English, especially if I cannot find a video online, especially at YouTube, that has done this particular bottle. And so I'm going to continue doing more and more videos now in English. And hopefully you will like the videos, you will subscribe, and you will also recommend these videos to other people. So far I have a couple hundred um, subscriber, subscribers in German, and it'd be great to have a couple hundred or a couple thousand subscribers in English. Okay, thank you very much. Goodbye. See you then.